Hi, my name is Olivia and I'm a first time mom with a one year old baby boy. I like to do things a little bit more natural, a little bit more on the crunchy side of things. And today we are going to de clutter the toys. So we just had a first birthday and so there are toys everywhere. It just keeps accumulating and I haven't done a ton of research on this, but I do know when you give a baby or a kid too many toys, it can be really overwhelming and overstimulating and I've noticed that firsthand with him. So whenever we have less going on, um, the simpler it is, the more he plays with the things he has and the more like imagination I can see that he's using. So today we're going to put the toys on a rotation. I'm going to organize the toys as best as I can and then I'm going to put them in the little bins in our closet and then I have one little bin that's going to go out in the living room kitchen area so that he always has toys to play with but he is always going to have new toys you know maybe we switch them out every week and hopefully he regains interest in some of these and also it keeps our house a little less cluttered so if you are interested in that let's go ahead and get started so while i am putting everything together gathering all the toys to start this toy rotation i also gathered a lot of things that i don't need anymore or maybe i never used or i don't see me using in the future and so i'm just going to go ahead and create a stack of things to give to goodwill hopefully they can go to better go to better use and i'm kind of killing two birds with one stone but my thought process was basically to collect all the toys in the house all of the ones in the living room all of the ones in the kitchen that have been scattered all over the floor every single day so i basically gathered everything i could and wanted just to lay it all out on the bed and then try to organize it so that i can potentially make my toy rotation baskets kind of even i guess i am also doing this with my son and so you'll probably see sometimes he is pulling toys off the bed I guess it was a little rude of me because I'm like taking all of the things that he loves and I'm putting them where he can't reach, but you know, gotta do what I gotta do. So for me, I feel like this is a little bit overwhelming. I feel like we already have so many toys. I'm sure some people have way more than this some people have way less. And so I am really grateful for the amount of toys we have and the fact that I have basically bought none of these, but also some of the things I'm like, I could potentially do without. I'm not trying to sound ungrateful, but it's just a lot. And I personally really love the idea of like Montessori type of toys. I've done a little bit of research on that style of teaching and so I just think it's really cool and I like that and so that's kind of the style that I wanted to go in with with my son but I'm sure if you know this and you're a mom that you just get tons of different kinds of toys from people and sometimes you keep them sometimes you give them away I just I'm always on the fence and I don't know what to do so if you guys have any suggestions on what you guys do if you get toys that potentially don't go along with like the parenting style you want to have or maybe you just think that it's just too much like what do you do do you just give it away or what is the right course of action so I also have bigger toys I have like a bike that's a little bit too big for him right now I have like a wagon I have bus these all these other things and I have this closet full of like six boxes of different toys I have one like filled with stuffed animals which I'm going to end up keeping so I'm just trying to organize these stuffed animals into one bin because he's not really into it right now and then I'm going I also have one full of books like extra books that are a little bit advanced for him right now like with real pages that he will just rip um, and then the other boxes are filled with toys so I'm gonna again try to organize those put those on the bed you know make this a little bit more overwhelming for myself and hopefully get everything together for this toy rotation from there so I don't know about you guys if you have a child around the age of one does your child like stuffed animals? Because mine just doesn't. He doesn't really care. There is one that makes noise that he is kind of interested in. But other than that, like, he could not care less. He doesn't even recognize it. it's a toy, I feel like. So is there, like, a time when your kids start liking stuffed animals? Or I don't know. Maybe he just is not going to like them. As I'm doing this, I found a couple, like, little stars and things that actually go to our swing that's currently in the attic. So didn't realize the pieces were not all together so I guess I'm just going to keep it in this basket with the stuffed animals and I'm just going to go ahead and put those up in a minute because like I said he's not super interested. I'm also not that mean. He does have toys on the ground with him um, but 
you know, the water bottle is the thing that he's loving more than anything. So all these blocks came in a set, so I'm just going to try to put those all together along with these like little stackable things. They're like silicone from Amazon. They're pretty cute. And he does love to stack things. I don't know if you can tell, but again, I did not do, like I said at the beginning of this video, I did not do a huge amount of research into how to create, you know, a toy rotation. I don't know if there's like a science to this, but it's kind of overwhelming to have all these toys and figure out how to categorize them, I guess. I'm stressing, for sure. <laughs> I also got these bins from Amazon. They are the biggest size. I think it's like 13 inches or something like that. They actually do hold a lot of toys and I love the thing that's in my closet that holds all of these. So um, I think that was from Ikea, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, I feel like it has seriously made the closet so much more organized. It looks better even though all the toys are just chunked in the baskets. And I just feel like so much better about his room and his closet because things look a lot nicer. So again, I have things like I have two piggy banks for him and he's only one. So it's not like we're really collecting money over here. So what do you do? Do you keep both? Do you get rid of the one that you don't like as much? I don't know. I mean, it's they're his, but we really don't need them. So... I don't know. I, I'm at this dilemma where I don't want to be a hoarder. I don't want to collect a million different toys and knickknacks and whatever. But I also am like teeter tottering on the line of like being grateful for what we have. And I don't know. I don't know. Him making his own decisions, him deciding what he likes. I don't know. What do you guys do? What What is the right thing? in this situation. So I first started out with puzzles because we have quite a few of them and I just want to put at least one in each of the baskets. Then I wanted to go with things that stack because I know that he likes those types of things. So like the stacking blocks, the stacking cups, the little stacking rings, little wooden rings that go on a stick that is kind of scary for him to have and be running around with, but you know, it's whatever. Um, also the stacking eggs in our little chicken i don't know why anything that's on a string he's like in love with he loves to pull the chicken around so although it's half broken because my dog ate it you know he still loves it so we're just gonna have to keep it for for now things like the little horse that he just pulled down that is not for his age i don't believe right now i think it's like four plus or five plus i don't know what it is but things like that i just went ahead and put in the drawer if it's anything that's just like too advanced for him right now put in the drawer save for a later date so another thing we have are these like little rattle eggs so little shakers i definitely wanted to mix those up so i don't have 800 shakers all over the house at one time um, plus he likes them so he'll always have a, a few of them he also loves balls that football you might think is way too big for him but you're wrong he is in love with it and he does throw it and he does carry it around it's awesome. So our stacking trains, those are another little stacking thing that I felt like goes along with that category of things. So then anything that's like a little bit of a rattle, try to categorize, categorize those. Even though he's not really playing with those anymore, I most likely am going to be putting those away sometime soon, but I'll leave them for now. So next I want to categorize things that make noise. I have things that are like plastic toys that you push buttons and make all types of noise like the drum, the turtle, the piano mat. So I'm going to put those in different bins. Next, I'm going to put the stuffed animal type of thing so they still have a little bit of something to them. They either make noise or have little knickknacks on them with like mirrors or whatever. So he's still a little bit interested in those. So I kept those out. And then <laughs> the jack of the box that he is afraid of right now. Um, I guess I categorized that with the thing that my dad made, the little things that go on the back of the door that make noise. He does like those. We have the cutest little electronic electricity type of thing I don't know what that is it's like a circuit board for kids um it's a little bit too old for him so I went ahead and put it in the drawer but it's so so cute 
Then I wanted categories music stuff. So he has a little xylophone, which is so cute and he does play with, but the sticks again are kind of like a hazard. It's kind of scary. And then I have a whole bin of musical things, kind of contemplating putting like one musical instrument in each bin, but I just went ahead and put it all in one. So I guess we're just going to have a week of musical things, which I got that from Amazon and it's super, super cute. It's all like wooden little toys or wooden instruments and he actually plays with all of them and it's super super cute so now we have five different bins that i can continuously swap out so hopefully he regains interest in some of his toys i honestly feel like we already have too many and i have like two more presents in my car so i think that we can even pare down more anything that he is a little bit too young for i put in our drawers and then i also just left a box of woo, and I also just left a box full of stuffed animals because he is not interested yet I don't know if he will be later down the line or if just for baby number two as for the big toys I fit as much in the closet as I could I'm gonna leave one big toy in here his bike he's a little bit too small for so it's gonna be in the corner and then he's gonna have two others that are going to be out in the living room with us so we will see how that goes and I hope this maybe inspired you to do the same. If you're interested and in to see how this goes in the future, let me know. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.